The materials needed to clean the trap are the trap, trap assembly, sonicator, a waste disposal bottle, tap water, distilled water, methanol, acetone, aluminum oxide, clean gloves, some beakers, q-tips, scissors, and the trap tools. Wet the electrodes with tap water. Using a slurry of number 600 aluminum oxide in water and a cotton tipped applicator, remove all the contaminants from the stainless steel iron trap parts. Warning, do not use aluminum oxide on silk chrome parts. It will remove the silk chrome. Use the wooden end of a cotton swab, cut at an angle to clean the inside corners and the holes in the end caps. Contaminants sometimes appear as dark or colored areas, but they may also be invisible. Clean each part thoroughly on all sides, even if there is no apparent contamination. Do not let the slurry dry on the metal. Dried aluminum oxide is very difficult to remove. After you clean a part, hold it under running water and use a clean applicator if necessary to remove all traces of aluminum oxide. Immediately place the clean part in a beaker and add a solution of warm water and detergent. Subject each part to ultrasound for about one minute. Repeat the process for each electrode. Place the parts one at a time into a beaker. Add deionized water, then subject the beaker and its contents to ultrasound for about one minute. If the water is cloudy afterwards, replace the deionized water and repeat the process. Repeat the process for each electrode. Be sure to wear gloves when handling hazardous chemicals. Place the parts one at a time into a beaker and add fresh methanol. Subject the beaker and its contents to ultrasound for about one minute. Repeat the process for each electrode. Properly dispose of all liquid wastes. Remove the iron trap parts from the beaker and place them on a clean, lint-free surface. Allow the parts to dry in air. Inspect each part to make sure that all spots and particles have been removed. If you observe any contamination, clean the part again using the procedure described previously.